What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a really simple video for you guys because I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to repair your drone motor when it breaks. And I think this is one of the most common problems you'll run into when you're flying FPV because it happens really easily. Today, I was just flying, I was going super fast, doing some freestyle, and accidentally crashed into one of the pillars. And as you can see, everything's fine. However, the drone motor just feels really tight. It's not flowing freely and you're actually not gonna be able to fly with this. And don't worry, for this fix, you don't have to do any soldering. And all you really need for this fix is just a spare drone motor bell, something like this. You can just order a new motor off of Amazon and it's gonna be really easy to fix. So without further ado, let's get into it. Step one is I wanna remove this drone motor's bell, this bottom portion down here. I need to remove the motor here. And then next, what you want to look at is there's this little screw right here that's really important. This screw right here is the screw that's in charge for removing the motor bell. And we really need to remove that to take off this whole case here. So this screw in particular is actually really stiff. So I would not recommend using anything like that, but more of a manual screw. And let's do this right now. All right, cool. So once you remove this little screw, what you want to do is actually fasten these little motor screws back on. And I know that seems counterintuitive, but it's actually really helpful in removing the drone motor bell because that can be really difficult sometimes. So by securing it back to how it was, it's going to be really easy to just pop it off. Put these guys back. And for this, you only need to fasten like maybe two of them. You don't need to put all of them back. It's just so we can nice and safely pop this guy off right now. So it's kind of difficult to see, but the problem here is that the drone motor bell was actually dented and that was causing it to have a lot of friction on here. So if you see, if you put it back, see, I'm kind of like scratching this part. That's not what we want, so. All right, cool. So after you pulled off the damaged drone motor bell, what you want to do next is grab your new one. Here I have a spare Nazgul here and I'm going to do the same process as before. I'm just going to remove these screws here, get access to the drone motor bell screw, remove that and then pop it off. All right, cool. This is my new drone motor belt. And we can just pop the old one back on here. This All right, perfect. So after we have our new drone motor belt, what you wanna do is just pop it on, just like so. And as you can see right away, we know we fixed it because the drone motor is now flowing freely compared to before where it was not flowing and there's a lot of friction. So right off the bat, we kind of know a repair works. So next, what you want to do is, again, remove the screws down here. All right, cool. So next, what you want to do is take this little screw again and then go ahead and just fasten it right here. So the drone motor bell is nice and secure now. And you might want to use your manual tool just to get that extra tighten so you know it's safe. And now basically we're ready to secure the drone motor back to the arm and we're basically good. All right, awesome guys. So it looks like the bell is flowing freely now, nice and smooth. So now we're gonna plug in the battery and see how it works. All right, awesome. So it looks like the repair worked and the drone is ready to go back up in the air now. So if this video helped you guys out, please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out young creators like me. And also please be sure to follow me on Instagram at Film because I'm gonna be posting a lot of new content there as well too. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.